Millions of cars have a shocking safety problem that many drivers don't even know about. And it's a problem that results in thousands of injuries and deaths. Now, a U.S. Senator is demanding change. Tonight, our Bob Siegel shares the safety device that lawmakers want to put in your car and how they're using our investigation to make it happen. That is so scary. I can't see any of them. It's an investigation that caught parents by surprise. I'm shocked. Super, super scary. This is just mind blowing. I, I can't believe it. 13 investigates demonstrated how millions of popular vehicles have a huge blind zone in a place you might least expect it, directly in front of your vehicle. No, I can't see any of them. We found that blind zone can be up to 15 feet enough space to line up a dozen children completely out of sight for a driver. I am in shock. I had no idea this blind spot existed. The blind zone on millions of SUVs and other large vehicles can be deadly, resulting in what's called a front over, when a child in front of a vehicle is accidentally run over by a driver who simply cannot see them. Front over accidents killed a seven-year-old boy in Mishawaka, a two-year-old girl in Indianapolis, and this 15-month-old toddler near Evansville. It was seconds, seconds, and it happened. Erica Boyer told us her son Noah was playing outside at his grandparents' house when he wandered into the driveway to get a basketball. At that same moment, his grandfather was moving his truck so the kids would have more room to play. My dad had no idea what had happened. Didn't see him. I was greeted by two sheriffs and a state trooper. And I said, just tell me that my baby's okay. And they said, we can't do that. Tragic cases like this and demonstrations like that captured the attention of U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal. I was shocked and astonished that a child that close to the car couldn't be seen. This month, the senator sent a letter to the head of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration highlighting these demonstrations by 13 investigates. Something that I think everyone should see. The senator's letter to NHTSA raises concerns about the rising number of senseless deaths due to front overs. Exactly how many deaths? We don't actually know. And the senator says that is troubling. NHTSA simply has failed to compile and make public the kind of surveillance data, as they call it, that would enable us to know how common these tragedies are. Each year, NHTSA reports how many people are killed and injured in accidents on public roads. but. When it comes to accidents in parking lots and driveways, where the vast majority of front overs take place, it's been years since NHTSA published updated numbers. It's got to start happening. And quite literally, people's lives depend on it. Amber Rollins is with Kids and Cars, a safety organization that tracks front over accidents. She says based on media reports and limited data, an average of 58 children are killed and more than 3,000 injured every year in front overs. The actual number is likely much higher. Senator Blumenthal wants better tracking and better safety devices on all new vehicles. There should be the same kind of mandate for front visibility as we now have for rear visibility. He's talking about this, rear cameras. Congress required automakers to install them in all new vehicles by 2018, and that dramatically reduced the number of kids killed when a vehicle backs over them in a rear blind zone. Blumenthal says kids deserve the same protection from front blind zones. Some automakers already offer front cameras, but it's usually considered a safety upgrade, available only on more expensive models. Safety devices should not be a premium available to only the people who can afford it. It ought to be a required mandate for cars to save lives. The senator hopes automakers will install front cameras and sensors without a mandate from Congress. If they don't, he wants NHTSA to act quickly. He's also asked the federal agency to release updated data to help lawmakers and the public better understand just how big this problem really is. You can see our full investigation right now at WTHR.com, including those eye-opening demonstrations the senator is talking about.